When I first heard about piecrete and the claims that it was as strong as concrete and could be used to build a giant ship, I was skeptical. Much like the Canadian engineers and scientists must have thought back in 43, they've got to be crazy. I've decided to make some blocks of piecrete for myself and perform my own tests, like they did back then. I use a formula they tested, which is 10% ground wood pulp from a local paper mill mixed into water. I make some regular ice as well. In a few days, they'll all be frozen solid. And we'll see for ourselves what piecrete is all about. How will Mike Fletcher's piecrete mixture measure Excuse up? me, are you Rick? Yes, I am. I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. Pleased to meet you. I'm here to smash some piecrete. Mike meets with Rick Dunn at the Bull Meadow Rifle Range so, there we to go. perform his own battery of tests. So ice first. Ice first. Oh, it disappeared. It's gone. <laughs> so, is that what we're going to do with the piecrete now? Yes, we'll do the piecrete, see if it test the salt. I have to admit, I'm impressed. What a difference. How incredibly strong piecrete is. Now, that didn't do nearly as much. And how simple it is to make. As it melts, the outer layer softens and creates its own insulation, Be lucky keeping breaking. the rest of it frozen. Well, it's not going to go easily. Might have to shoot it with the shotgun to get it apart. <laughs> I'm starting to think there may actually be something about this crazy scheme of building a ship, not of ice, but of piecrete.